A chronology of Woody Thomas's life in photography in his own words, read by Dave Burnett. My first significant encounter with picture taking was in 1934 in a park in Havana, Cuba. My attention was drawn to a man taking pictures of people. The subject would stand in front of the camera while the photographer made the exposure. He developed the image inside the camera resulting in a negative image on paper. Then he placed this negative image in a bracket on the front of the camera and took a picture of it. He developed that image inside the camera to produce a positive image for the customer. It was the first time I'd ever seen such a thing. No one explained the workings to me, but at age five, I figured it out for myself. When I was eight years old, my grandfather gave me an old folding Kodak camera that was his and still had some film in it. I was able to get one picture of my brother from that roll of film. I still have the print. I even disassembled that camera to build in a switch that would trigger a flash bulb. This camera went, to, went with me to high school, St. Andrew's School, where I took a number of pictures, some good and many not so good. It was a learning experience. I was fortunate to get a loan of a more sophisticated camera from my classmate, Robert Bones Taylor, who wrote in my yearbook, by right of squatter sovereignty, you should own my camera by this time. I did actually give it back to him though. The headmaster, Walden Pell, noticed my interest in activities in photography and directed me to a dark room with an outside entrance in the basement of his house where I could develop my own film and make prints and enlargements with the equipment at hand. The dark room was well outfitted. It was a great boon and added to my capabilities in the photographic process. I took trips for summer jobs during college, 1948 to Jackson, Wyoming, for a job with a couple who had a photo shop there. 1949 to Rochester for a job with Kodak. 1950 back to Jackson Hole, Wyoming for a job at a summer camp where I took movies of camp activities and pictures of the campers with their horses. I had a commercial photo business with my college roommate. We were able to buy more professional equipment with our earnings from taking pictures for the campus newspaper and the class yearbooks. By this time, my decision to make a career in photography had directed me to major in physics with a minor in chemistry, the subjects that best covered the technology of photography. I had also acquired a library of books on photography covering its science, technology, practice, and history. I spent 33 years at Kodak as a scientist and later as a manager in new product development in color film, both still and movie, and related technologies and products. I also took hundreds of still pictures for my personal use and hundreds of feet of 16 millimeter color movie film for family movies. In 1983, Kodak offered me a buyout, which I took. I spent the next 16 plus years with my wife, Marilyn, making and showing movie travelogues. We produced four feature length films and gave some 1,300 presentations to about a third of a million people in over 500 venues in 47 states and six Canadian provinces. We gave our last two shows in September 2000 and retired for the second time.